Okay, we're going to get going with the Seton Hall press conference. Uh, some announcements before it begins. As a courtesy to your fellow media members and team participants, please silence your cell phones. Please provide your name and media affiliation each time you ask a question during the press conference. If you are joining on Zoom, please use the raise hand function uh, for questions. We will address questions in the room first and get to Zoom if time allows. Also, recording the press conference on cell phones or cameras is prohibited. And right now we are joined by Coach Shaheen Holloway, Kadari Richmond, Dre Davis, and Alamir Dawes. And we'll open it up for questions for the players. Hey, guys, great game. Um, how were you able to get off to such a good start there? Kadari, you had a steal and a layup on the first possession. Um, what, what led you guys to be so aggressive and get out to that quick start? Um, the preparation we had going into it, knowing what we were going to do defensively and what they were going to try to do offensively. So I think that's what led to the great start. And just, uh, for all you guys, what does it feel like to win this game? And you know, now you're going to play for an NIT championship in two days. Like, how exciting is that? How, how does that feel? It feels, feels very good um, you know, to be still playing. Um, in a championship, you know, to put in words, but, um, you know, it's, it's, it feels real good, you know, just to put the ball in the hoop again and, you know, come out with the hardware, so. Kadari, then Dre? Um, it, it feels good. Our, our message in the uh, summer was we're going to be playing for a championship in April, and that's the position we put ourselves in now, and we're just happy to be here. We're going to keep taking it day by day. Dre, what? Dre, you had uh, like look like about 50 family and friends out there. What was that like playing in front of them, and uh, what will it be like Thursday being back here in front of your home crowd? No, it was a good experience. You know, just blessed to be able to uh, come back and compete for a championship in front of my family. You know, in my hometown. But um, you know, at the end of the day, this is a business trip, and uh, we're coming to compete for a championship. Al, uh, you've been on an absolute tear through this NIT run. I mean, you were great during the regular season, but it looks like you've hit an absolute another level. I mean, what's changed in this postseason, and how are you looking to keep it up for that championship game? Um, you know, just to continue playing uh, free-minded, you know, having a free mind out there, having fun with my brothers, um, and just, you know, competing for, you know, for the championship, for the championship trophy. Um, you know, obviously, we, we didn't, our group of guys they want to just be home, you know, like uh, other teams, you know, to to get a chance to go play and go play for something, you know, still huge. Um, that's what just been got got me going. So, Jerry Carino, do you have a question for the players? Yes, guys, congratulations. Want to ask you uh, what you thought of Jaquan's performance? How nice was that to see him contribute like that? I know you you know how hard he's worked behind the scenes. Um, it feels good to see him contribute and help us get a big win, um, especially uh, down the stretch in April. So it's just um, the preparation he put in and the work that he's been putting in since June, and you guys are now seeing it. I want to piggyback off that. Um, you know, he's been working tremendously hard, um, and these was great minutes that he put in for us, um, great needed minutes as well, so I'm very happy for him. Okay, do we have any other questions for the players? All right, we'll go ahead and dismiss them. Thank you, guys. Good luck. We'll see you Thursday. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Questions for uh, Coach Holloway? Coach, uh, Rick Simler from WTHI TV out of Terre Haute. Obviously going to ask you about Indiana State. I know you just won, but the, the, facing the Sycamores, just your thoughts on that. I've, I, haven't, I haven't watched them play. Um, I watch little things here and there. Like Obviously, they played on TV. But um, tonight, I know more about them. I'll be up watching them tonight. I know it's going to be a tough game. They're a really good team, and it's pretty much a home game for them. Second part of that, you speak of the home game. Just, it's a neutral site game, but it's a home game. For they, them. They, uh, you're right. That's it's a home game. Just for what them. you saw tonight out of the uh, the Sycamore Nation, just the crowd out there. No, I thought you know it was, it was good. You know they they came out, they came out supporting their home team. Um, you know, it's good. You know, I'm happy. I'm happy that you know it was a crowd. It's gonna be a crowd on on Thursday. So, you know, these guys you know get a chance to, to play in front of a big crowd. Sean, what does it say uh, that the you know a lot of people felt that these two teams should have been in the NCAA tournament? They were part of the two first four out. 
what does it say that these two teams are still going to play for the NIT championship? I think it's you know, a lot to say about both teams, right? About you know the coaches and, and the players and the character and the, and the culture of you know what both teams are trying to build. I don't know that I don't know their coach, but you know um, he does a great job. Um, his team plays really hard, won good stuff. Um, they play well in, in this tournament. Um, the, I was in my locker room when they uh, came out, and I, you know, I heard how they they were celebrating and how they happy to be here. So you know that says a lot about you know their their program and their and their coach. Adam, do you have another one? Uh, what will you do? <laughs> what will you do tomorrow? And now how you don't have anything to say. Wow, I'm just so exa I'm so exhausted, man. Um, what will you do tomorrow, and how will you get them prepared for Thursday? Now, I don't know. You know we. It's late right now, right? We gotta, you know, get back, get these guys back, give them something to eat, you know, ice up. Um, me and the staff will be up. I'll be up all night, kind of watching Indiana State. Um, try to come with a game plan. They kind of go from there. Um, I'll send the game plan out tomorrow to the coaches and to the players. Um, I don't really know exactly what yet. I'm sure we got some media stuff that we have to do, so kind of work around that. Okay, we'll go to Zoom to Jerry. So, uh, what's this like for you to, as a coach to see your players? Seize this opportunity like this. Your seniors voted to do this, and the way they've attacked it. Uh, what's this been like for you to watch? No, it's been good. All right, it's been good. It shows the maturity of the team. When you when you got a bunch of seniors, you got five seniors. Um, like I said, I thought the, the first game was going to be the hard game, and it was. And we kind of from there, we kind of just start playing Seton Hall basketball. Um, but it's still a lot of work to be done. Like I said, Indiana State is a really really good team that really shoots the ball well. Um, so happy for our guys, but. Job is not done. Coach, in this one, Georgia was playing great basketball. Um, a really good three-point shooting team. You held Noah Thomas and their top three-point shooter to no points in the first half. You held the whole team to just five three-pointers on the whole game. D tell me about the defensive mindset against that three-point attack. Yeah, that was the point that we that we made. You know, I wanted to get, keep them out of transition and, and take away the three. But I, 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 was, I wasn't really happy with our defense down the stretch. They just started dropping the basketball on us. And, just kind of get to the basket. You know, guys just kind of playing the score instead of just playing um, together on defense like we normally do. But um, I thought it was a good team effort. I thought the first half, the first 12 minutes, I thought we came out with the mindset that, you know, we was going to defend. And we kind of, you know, from there, I thought we kind of stamped on uh, how the game was going to be played. Um, and give them credit. They made, you know, adjustment in the second half, and they, they went small and started driving the basketball. Um, but for the most part, yeah, we wanted to take away the three and keep them out of transition. Coach, in year two at South Orange, you're leading your team to the NIT championship. What's the importance of bringing home a championship in year two and the future of the program? Um, I mean, it's like any time you get a chance to play for a championship, it's, it's, it's super important, right? It's, it's huge. Um, for me, I don't really do the individual stuff, right? I don't really care. This, this is not about me. This is about our team and these guys. I want the five seniors to go out with, with a bang. Um, but, you know, I just want to, you know, take a moment to really – Give those guys, you know, their flowers. You know, it's, it's, it was it's so it was it had been so easy for us to just put our heads down and kind of you know mope because of what happened. But these guys kind of you know stuck with it. They stuck with me. You know, I'm on them daily, um, and they're coming out and now we we playing. I guess we we still showing the world, you know, that C Hall is a really really good team. Coach, want to thank you for your time. Wish you the best of luck. We'll see you Thursday. All right, thank you. Thanks, sir. Yes, sir.